Hi, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're on our way over to the Banff National Park. We were heading over there to do a hike. Um, we wanted to do the Bankhead Ghost Town hike. Uh, on our way on the Trans Canada Highway going into the mountains then we go through Canor. Um, we don't get a good view of the three sisters on the way there but we'll definitely get a good view of them on the way back and as we come up here we're just going to go through the National Park gate uh, we have a park pass so we can zoom straight through when we got there the parking that we wanted to park at was closed because of the weather. There was the, the road was still too icy to get to the um, to the ghost town, so we ended up parking down by the um, the lake and walking. It was a three mile hike just to the ghost town, and then by the time we got there, it was a, a good um, good walk around once we got there. This was just on the way there. This was over to Jack Lake and Lake Maywanka and up into the mountains. And again, we can see that's, I don't know where that is. <laughs> and here come my hiking companions. This is Andrew and Leanne. And then, yeah, they came with me to explore for the day. And Andrew, being the boy he is, oh. had to throw every snowboard he could find. I'm going to be quiet and I want you to listen to the noise this makes when it goes down there. Hey. All the way down the hill. <laughs> And there's Mount Rundle. And there's me thinking it will be possible to carry a backpack with my camera in and my camelback both at the same time. And we've come down now into the um, into the ghost town. The it was still quite icy down here and it was very hard to to go and explore very much. The, these little, this little train is called a Dinky. Uh, Canadian Pacific Railway um, wanted to get the anthracite coal out of this area and they use these to, to take the coal out of the coal face. So Bankhead was created, or the, the town was created in 1903 and they'd closed it down by 1922 and nobody really knows why but they're just speculating that it was it was not profitable so that's that's why they closed it down we also couldn't get up to the upper bank head which is where the people live where the town was again because the roads were closed and it was too icy and this is the remnants that we see the buildings. Again, my hiking companions. We'd sent him off to see if he could find a path through, uh, but it was a no-go. So here he is, all dejected, walking back. But it was it was a nice day up there. It was uh, it was it was sunny, and when the sun was out, it was glorious. But as soon as the sun went away or you were in shadows then, then it was cold. And we used to, oh this is the loving couple, look at that. I think she forgives him. I think she does. Again, more snowballs. Oh he's such a boy. And heading back, you can see just how icy everything is out there. And on the way home, we go past the three sisters. That's in Camor. 
Okay, thanks for joining me. Thank you.